very warm welcome to all of you in today's video today i'm going to talk about evaluating exam we will explain all those questions that are most frequently asked about evaluating exam what this exam is how you can crack these exams what are the different sources that are available and how to make yourself ready for this exam if you have any particular question you can go into the description hit the timeline and it will take you to that particular part of the video in that way you can skip the video but you can still get the answer to your very questions so let's start the video the very first question what is evaluating exam this exam is for all those candidates who are coming from internationally who are graduates in different countries and they want to get themselves registered in canada as a pharmacist so that's the first exam that they have to go through evaluating exam in this exam they will evaluate all your uh, pharmacy education that you did in your own countries in this exam you will have to answer 200 questions and you will have approximately four hours to answer those questions so around about one minute and around 10 seconds for one question in this exam there are different portions that you will have to cover for example a legal and uh, social and that of ethical parts and uh, also you will have to answer about uh, uh, biochemistry anatomy physiology and the major portion is about pharmacy practice in which uh, you will see therapeutics and also you will see some calculations. We will talk about all these individual parts in, uh, in few minutes about like how you can prepare for those parts and what are the different materials available to cover all those parts. How much time do you need in order to prepare for evaluating exam? The answer to this question is variable. Some people need more time, some people need lesser time. So if you are a recent graduate, then it means you are still into that student kind of an, uh, frame of mind. So you might cover it in two months or maybe three months. But if you are an old graduate, then I would say that it would take a little bit longer. It could be up to five months, six months, or even one year if you are doing any kind of a job um, along the site. So again, I would say it's kind of a variable kind of a thing. So just uh, analyze your own current situation and then decide that how much time do you need. But at the end, you can also assess yourself before going and writing your exam that whether you are prepared for it or not. So always plan accordingly. Now the next question is uh, whether you need a coaching course to get yourself prepared for evaluating exams or not. I would say if you are a recent graduate, then uh, you might not need it. If you can get uh, coaching materials from some, some, some of your friends or some other kind of sources, then just sit down and read all those study materials and go through each and everything in deep. Like if you are reading a certain point, then go in deep and uh, uh, get all the details relevant to those points so that your uh, concept is clear and uh, if you are uh, like a very old graduate as I explained uh, earlier like you would need a longer time for your uh, preparation so in that way I would uh, ask you to get yourself enrolled into coaching classes in that way you will have a class environment and it will make you student again so it will be easy for you to track yourself and to make yourself to read and, um, and to make yourself to study again one more thing which is important uh, um, in terms of your coaching course is that these courses keep you on track. Um, most of the time you get distracted while you, you are doing your studies by your own self. But if you are enrolled into some coaching course, whether it's online, whether it's in person, it doesn't matter. It will keep you on track and uh, it will be easy for yourself to focus and concentrate on your ultimate goal. Now many people ask that which course is beneficial because there are lots of courses available in the market. So you are kind of very unclear that which course can be helpful for you. I would explain about two major courses that are available. That is PharmaChief and MISPAS course. Because these two are the top of the courses that we see whenever we talk about evaluating exam. If you talk about MISPAS course, then it is a kind of a book that is very comprehensive, elaborative and it covers pretty much all the things that you need for your preparation in terms of evaluating exam. So if you are kind of a person who likes to read the book, who likes to go into the depth, then I would say go for Miss Plus book. But sometimes you might feel that it's boring because it's just one person who is delivering all the topics. So it's not very ideal or kind of a situation because no one is able to address all the issues 
like at the same kind of an um, uh, I would say at the same kind of a level so in that way it can be some somewhat little bit boring and you might get distracted on the other hand if you talk about pharma chief course it is online course they have presentations you can print them but again it can cost you a lot of money their best point is because they have a different kind of uh, instructors who are uh, specialized in different fields. So if you are taking a lecture about calculations, so the teacher who is delivering a letter, and who is, so the teacher. So if you talk about Pharma Chief, they have their instructors who have specialities in different kind of fields. If you are taking lecture about calculation, the instructor would be qualified in in that of uh, calculation parts or if you are taking any therapeutic lecture then the instructor who is delivering the lecture he will be uh, qualified in that therapeutics part so in that way uh, they have more specialized faculty that is delivering uh, those lectures and you can interact them uh, while uh, you are having your online lectures you can ask them questions uh, in between and also they have uh, their whatsapp group where you can ask any question anytime uh, 24 hours and they will answer all those questions and then you can interact with other people who are enrolled into that course so in that way i would say that pharma chief course is uh, course is a little bit uh, uh, better as compared to miss buzz course uh, it is more more comprehensive it is more uh, more in, 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 in interacting you can interact them easily and uh, they have more uh, specialized faculty now the next part is very important like how you can prepare yourself for evaluating exam how you can prepare different topics and uh, different parts that are included into that uh, evaluating exam so let's start with biomedical sciences when you talk about biomedical sciences it includes your uh, anatomy physiology and also biochemistry into it it's about 25 to 20 percent uh, kind of an uh, portion of your exam I would say go with the Ms. Pass book, the first chapter, first 25 to 30 chapters are quite sufficient in order to cover that bio, um, biomedical part. Next I am going to talk about calculations part which is very important because at the end of the exam this is the part that will make you fail or pass. Most of the time we pay most of our, of our attention to therapeutics and some other parts of the exam and we pay lesser to attention towards this calculation things. But believe me, this is very important. This is the key to success. So what I would suggest is pay every day 30 minutes to 40 minutes to calculations and solve those questions uh, on a paper. And if you do this on a regular basis every day, then at the end of the exam, you will be pro in these uh, calculations things. In order to um, address the materials, like what kind of materials do you need for this uh, calculations part? I would say MISPA's book or PharmaChief uh, course material, whatever calculations they have in their courses are quite sufficient for evaluating exam. If you want to do more, then go for a book which is called Ansel's Pharmaceutical Calculations. This book is no doubt uh, beneficial for evaluating exam, but also it will help you for MCQ, which is your qualifying exam part one. So if you finish this book now, then it will be benefit. Uh, it will give you benefit in the next exam as well. So you will not have to pay extra time next time. So what you can do is uh, pick all those topics which are uh, important for the evaluating uh, exam, which you will uh, learn in um, in your courses in MISPAS or pharmacy courses, and then um, same topics uh, you go through this Ansel book, and then it will be uh, very good. Like you will be kind of a master in these calculations. What I would suggest is make a list of uh, important formulas and write all those formulas on daily basis uh, on a paper, and then try to memorize them. Some people say that calculations are given to you during examinations, then yes, they will give you uh, some kind of uh, formulas. Not all the formulas will be, will be given to you during the exams. But uh, again, it's better to memorize them because during the exam situation, it will be a pressure situation. And sometimes you, you just overlook and you don't pay attention that formula is present right in front of you. So it was, uh, it's always good to have that uh, formulas in your mind already so that uh, whenever the question comes in front of you, 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 you just have that formula in your mind and solve the question and then hit the right option. And now uh, a very important part of uh, your preparation therapeutics. Uh, in terms of therapeutics, I would say um, select the topics from starting from chapter 60 to chapter 100 of, uh, of that uh, MISPAS book. Um, these are the topics that you need to cover for evaluating exam. 
read these topics in the MISFA book or read these topics in PharmaChief course and then after uh, going through all these study materials go and read these materials uh, these these particular topics in therapeutic choices as well now some people would say that why therapeutic choices because this is recommended for MCQ exam I would say that uh, if you study these topics in therapeutic choices now then it will be easy for you to uh, prepare yourself for the next exam as well and it will also be helpful for your evaluating exam because after reading therapeutic choices when you will go and sit in evaluating exam you will find that exam is very easy for you like these are some kind of very minor things to you and you will your caliber or your level will be already above the level which is required for evaluating exam so in that way you will um, be doing like uh, uh, two things at a time you are preparing yourself for evaluating exam and you're also preparing yourself for upcoming mcq exam and it will also make your concepts clear because at the end of the day these exams are concept based you cannot like uh, do uh, memorize the things uh, in your heart and then, then just go and sit in an exam and get a success they will um, give you a questions which are the concept based a uh, case based or scenario based questions so for that uh, kind of a questions, your concepts should be clear and that concept will be clear when you study, when you go into the, in, into the depth and for that purpose you need therapeutic choices. That's why I'm recommending that read therapeutic choices now rather than doing it later when it will be difficult for you to prepare yourself for MCQ exams because I have seen m most of the candidates who clear their uh, evaluating exam in the first attempt but then they have to go for two or three attempts for the MCQ exams because they struggle in this therapeutics part. At the end of the video I would like to give you a few tips. These tips will not only be helpful for evaluating exam but for all the exams that you will have to face in your life uh, in upcoming days. The very first step is do not rush. I repeat, do not rush. Assess yourself, evaluate yourself if you are right now up to that mark that needs for this kind of exams and then go for it and attempt it. Do not go for it if you are not well prepared because you have just three attempts. After that, fourth attempt is the mercy attempt and after that, it's done. You cannot attempt PEBC examinations again. So assess yourself right now and see if you are capable or, or not and then go for it. Another tip is keep yourself calm, keep yourself focused, keep yourself uh, concentrated to your objectives because at the end of the day these exams are the pressure exams. You have to face a lot of pressure, there is a um, exam pressure, there is a time management. So all these factors ultimately give you immense kind of pressure and at the end of the day it becomes very difficult for yourself to focus onto the exam or focus onto, the, on, onto those questions. So keep yourself calm and keep yourself uh, um, uh, concentrated, keep your nerves under control. It will be helpful for yourself and it will be helpful for the, uh, for the, in, in order to crack these exams. One more tip is do not spend too much time to one question. If you know the answer, you know it, then just hit your answer. If you know that you do not know this question, then you know it, then why you are spending a lot of time onto that, thinking it again and again. Just hit whatever you think is the best option and move forward. Save your time because time is the key in these, in these exams. So do not spend too much time onto those questions that you know that you do not know. My last tip is practice, practice and practice. Once you are done with all your preparations, once you have studied all the materials, then just sit down and practice more and more questions. You can get the past exam questions from your friends or from anyone in the circle. You can also buy different kind of question banks like Pharma Chief Question Bank or Mispa's Question Bank and practice as many questions as you can. Your last month of your preparation should be about practicing these exam questions. It will make yourself ready for the exam. It will make yourself ready for the time management and it will give you the knowledge that you need in order to understand the question and to grasp those key points from that question and to answer them correctly. So again, I would say practice, practice, practice as many questions as you can. So that was all about evaluating exam. If you still have any further questions, you can always comment below and I will answer all those questions. I will see you next time with any next video with a new topic. Till that time, take care of yourself, keep yourself safe 
and stay tuned. Bye.